Hey guys, welcome to another edition of MacBreak Studio. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to do a multicam edit using DaVinci Resolve's edit page. It's gonna be loads of fun. I have a DaVinci Resolve project open and I've imported five clips into the media pool. Hover scrubbing over each of them reveals four separate performance angles of a Bay Area rock band, Jitterbug Riot. This master shot includes a slate, which is super helpful if you want to manually sync all your camera angles, but it's often just faster to sync them using the audio. Select the bin that your clips reside in, then choose Create New Multicam Clip using Selected Bin. A window will appear with angle syncing options. The name of the song is Miserable Girl, so I'll enter that for the multicam clip name. I'll leave the frame rate set at 24, which is the native frame rate of the clips I'm working with. Then I'll choose a syncing method using the Angle Sync drop down menu. Resolve allows you to sync via in and out points, timecode, sound, and markers. I'll choose sound. You can also choose your angle naming conventions using this menu. I want my angles to appear with their original clip names. I'll click Create. A multicam clip is created in the media pool, as you can see by the badge in the lower left corner of the thumbnail. Hover scrubbing over the clip reveals all the angles in the source viewer. To do a quick sync check, I'll scrub to a frame where the band is in mid-performance, then press the spacebar to play the clip. If you happen to notice that an angle is out of sync and you want to address it, you'll need to right-click on the thumbnail and choose Open in Timeline. All the synced angles are presented in a track stack, which allows you to quickly isolate a particular angle by option or alt-clicking its visibility toggle in the track header. With the singer's track isolated, I'll need to unmute the final production track audio to check her angle sync against it. I'll play back from here. If the clip was out of sync, I could select it, then use the comma key to nudge the angle backward one frame at a time, or the period key to nudge the angle forward one frame at a time until the sync is perfect. Before leaving this timeline, be sure to enable all the tracks. We're now ready to set up a new timeline for a multicam edit. I'll double click the multicam clip to load it into the source viewer. Using the jog bar, I can scrub the entire clip looking for a place to mark an endpoint. If I want to be precise, I should probably do this using the audio waveform. In the lower left of the viewer, select Audio Track. I can now clearly see where the first note is and set my endpoint there by pressing I. To create a timeline, right click on the multicam clip and choose Create New Timeline using Selected Clips. I'll name the timeline MG Cut 1 and click Create. The multicam clip is placed into a new timeline beginning at my marked endpoint. In order to do a live multicam edit, you'll need to select Multicam from the Source Input drop down menu. This places the source viewer into a live multicam cutting and switching mode. Scrub or play the timeline, and the source viewer updates in real time. Move your cursor over any angle in the source viewer, and a razor blade appears. Whenever you click an angle with it, the video will cut to that particular angle in the timeline. I'll undo. If you don't want to make a cut, hold down the Option or Alt key, then click an angle. This time, instead of a cut, the angle is switched. As I Option click on each angle, the angle in the timeline changes, but no cut is made at the playhead. Also notice the red box around each angle. This indicates that whenever you make a cut or a switch, the video and the audio are affected together. When cutting a music video like this one, we don't want the audio to cut every time we cut to a different angle, because it would sound very jarring. Option click on the music angle to select it. Then click the Video Only icon at the bottom of the source viewer. Now, when I option click an angle, only the video is swapped in the timeline, not the audio. When you're in this mode, a blue box appears for video only angles, and a green box for audio only angles. These colors are not by accident, they happen to coincide with the track colors in the timeline. With all that set up, I'm ready to do a live cut of this performance. I'll press Home to move the play to the beginning of the timeline, then choose the angle I want to start with by option clicking it. I'll begin with the drummer. 
I'll press the space bar to begin playback. Then when I want to make a cut, I'll click an angle in the source viewer. I won't cut the entire song because, well, you get the idea. If you need to make changes to the edit, there are only two things you really need to know. The first is angle swaps. Let's say that you cut the wrong angle. Just park the playhead over the angle in the timeline, then option click a different angle in the source viewer. The clip in the timeline is swapped out. The other change you might want to make are cut timings. Let's say that you were a bit early or late on a cut. Move your mouse cursor over the edit point until you see a rolling trim icon. Then drag right or left to make the adjustment. That's all there is to it. Quick straw poll here. How many of you use DaVinci Resolve or are planning on using it in the near future? Leave your comments below. And if you benefit from this channel, please consider giving us a sub. Thanks for watching.